Hi, I would like to show you how to add a new feature in R using test-driven development. So the test-driven development cycle is that everything works, then you should break the test, make it pause, and refactor and clean up and push to git and those kind of things. So that's the cycle you need to achieve. So as an example I'll be using this uh, package. What it does, it creates a map and to be more precise it creates actually a, it creates a picture of a map and the picture file name is, is a PNG is saved to file and then you can display it so it looks something like this there it runs and here we see a nice map of the city of Groningen um, and we want to and they want to add features so how do you do that? So let's take a look at the test. So I select create map, control dot, go to the file, test create map. So these are the tests that are already there and they do fail. So when uh, when I create this map, I expect it to be silent. It, it's not, it gives, um, it gives some output, um, which should not be there. Uh, but in the end, there is a file created, so that's great. So let's say we want to add a new feature. That means you have to create a test with the, our new feature. For example, let's say um, the new feature will be display bridges. Well, to display the bridges, then we still need the PNG file name. We need to create, to call the create map function. But now we are going to make a test that fails and we do that by for example by show bridges equals true so here I have created a function that breaks and the test should be expect silent so when I call create map with this extra argument show bridges it should work so that's the first test um, it makes you add this show bridges argument, uh, but in the end you expect a file to come out of this. Um, so the next test would be, for example, that you do this um, with and without bridges. So ping file name one, create map with that file name show bridges true. Ping file name two you create a map with the show bridges is false and now we expect that the created files are different expect that the created files are different and in this way you can really show that um, that there's a difference in output and but that's already the second test also how to check if these png files are different uh, probably this will be be the start of a new function like you of course you can can find it um, but perhaps you want to write a function uh, expect true which is still uh, in the test that library um, are say are identical pictures are identical pictures on those two PNGs uh, of course they should not be identical they should be different uh, with the PNG file name 2 and 1, PNG file name 1 and 2. So that's a, a test you probably want to write in the future to see if really uh, it, ha it, it matters, if there's a different picture created when you show the bridges. All right, but first let's take a step back. So to add the feature to display bridges, um, this will be your first test, that it should silently be able to create a map with the new function arguments. Uh, same thing, let's say you want to add a feature um, that allows you to center, um, center, um, center on any location. So let's say you want to create a map that centers on some kind of GPS coordinate. Well, then the test should be something like this. Um, X, I don't know, GPS, latitude, longitude, something like this. Um, I don't know, any any good coordinate. Let's take a fictional one. Actually, that's also not important. 
um, if these numbers are real, uh, or let's say useful, perhaps this is in the desert or on the sea. Uh, but in this way, I can create a map and write this to a PNG file uh, on a certain location. And also here, if you have a different location, it should give you a different map. So, and of course, if both of them work, um, if you can show bridges, and if you can center on any location, uh, then usually you can just combine the two as a user. All right. So in this way, by starting, um, um, by by adding these kind of tests that feel trivial, but they make you improve your interface and extend your interface, you can get a solid software architecture. Because if you can test it it's already better software than untestable software. All right. So I hope this was a useful video and I wish you a very good day. Bye.